Hey, what's going on everyone? So welcome to another episode of Omni Breakdown. Uh, this is a series where I will be talking about all the poems in my newest poetry book, Omni. More specifically, we are talking about the first half that's been released, which is titled Initial Phase. And with each of these, I am talking about two poems at a time. I'm talking about the inspiration behind them. I'm breaking down certain lines that people have questioned or asked about. So with this one, we are going to be talking about the poems This Is My Night and Reminder. So This Is My Night was written shortly after my novelette, Cindy's Choice, became my first ever number one on Amazon. Prior to this, I had one book managed to get number two in new releases. Prior to 2020, I had never had anything crack the top 100. And with This Is My Night, I feel like there's been times where I've tried to have that special moment where it's like, this is a huge thing and this is my moment and no one's ever going to take this away from me. And it feels like every time I have that moment, something happens or there's some little asterisk beside it or something has an effect on it that doesn't make it special anymore. And... With Cindy's Choice becoming a number one, I felt like I finally got that moment. Here I am, I'm finally being able to say, this is mine. I've been wanting something like this forever. Now it can't be taken away. I can say, or in this case, I can say I have a number one. And that's part of, that was, the inspiration for the lines of the chorus, I guess you could say, of this poem, since I kind of wrote it in song lyric form, where I say, this is my night. I have been fighting for this my entire life. And it's not even just with writing. It's with other interests and activities I've had in the past, where it felt like every little moment I've had or have tried to have, I haven't been able to really celebrate it or share it or take it in and enjoy it for what it is. There's always something that was getting in the way. And now here I am, I can finally say that. I can finally say, this is mine. I have been fighting for this and now here I am with something. And that's how it felt with Cindy's Choice being a number one. After the times that I felt like I was overlooked in anthologies or the times when people would be like, oh, that's nice, and then never want to talk about my writing stuff again. Here I am now, I can say I've got a number one and it's people are now paying attention. People are now taking notice. And I have something I can celebrate. I have something that will forever be on my portfolio when it goes to talking about achievements and accomplishments, I can say, I have a number one. In fact, uh, Cindy's Choice being number one, I took a screenshot of it, and it is my timeline photo on my author page on Facebook. And when I was telling everyone my top moments of 2020, I made that my number one. So This Is My Night was pretty much written because of that. The other poem that I am talking about today is Reminder. For those of you that are new to me, my best-selling book is Meta. And Meta has a couple of poems, more specifically, Address It, Pull Me Under, and Black Sheep where I discuss that there are family members of mine that do not support me as a writer. 
They are not on any of my social media pages. One person straight up told me that he would never support what I do and the best thing I can do is get over it. And because of that, I do not talk to some of these people anymore. Well, there is someone that I do still speak to that for whatever reason, always brings them up, always tries to talk about this. And it felt like every few months, and this is something that's been going on for years, I've had to say, I don't talk to these people because they have already told me they don't support me. I am not going to deal with that negativity in my life. And I've had to say it over and over again. And I feel like I'm not the only person that feels like this, but sometimes when you get to a point where you have to repeat yourself so many times, you just hit a breaking point. And for those that are watching this, no, I'm not talking about the poem Breaking Point that's also in the book. I'm just saying that there's a point where you're just, I've had enough, I cannot keep talking about this. And I had that happen Ed, eventually. And I told the person, I don't know how many times I have to tell you this. I don't want to talk to these people. I want nothing to do with them. This is what they said to me. This is not some little miscommunication. I straight up had a message where it said, I will never support you, Luke. Get over it. I should not have to constantly remind you over the years of dealing with this that I don't talk to them and here's why. And reminder is just me saying, I will tell you what's going on, but this is the last time I'm going to talk to you about it. And in my case, I don't want to say I'm bitter over it anymore, like I was when I was writing Meta, but it's a point where it is what it is, and I just want to move on. There's a saying about keeping your back to the past and your face to the future. And that's what I'm trying to do. My future is trying to have more of a reach, sharing more of my stuff with people, being able to share the works of my friends, and just trying to move on in general with life. And I can't do that if you keep bringing up the past. The past is the past. It can't be undone. The only thing I can do is keep moving forward. So here you go. Here is your reminder. But know that this is the last time that we're going to have this discussion. And that's how I felt about it. Since then, I will say that I have not had to remind this person anymore. But the fact that I had to keep reminding this person for years eventually took a toll on me and I had to say something. And again, when I was trying to figure out the best way to say things because I'm not the best at that, I know that's a little weird that a writer doesn't know the best way to talk about stuff, but I felt that I didn't know what to say without yelling and screaming and I did what I always do. I put pen to paper and start writing. So that's how I wrote Reminder. And with the previous one, that is also how I wrote This Is My Night. So thank you all for watching. I'm going to have more episodes up very soon. Plan is to have these up weekly. Just so everyone can be reminded that Omni Initial Phase is now out. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Amazon link in the description below. So there's that. And also just to not completely flood everyone's feeds with the videos. But there's going to be two poems per video. Until we are completely through both Omni Initial Phase and the second half of the book Omni Secondary Phase. So be on the lookout for everything. The audio version of Omni should be up on this channel very, very soon if it's not already up. 
And if it's not already up at this time, I will eventually do a pinned comment in the comment section where you can check out the playlist that will have all 25 poems from Omni Initial Phase. So for those who don't know, this is actually my second channel. I will have the link in the description below for my main channel. I will also have my social media links in the description below. I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram. And that does it for this episode of Omni Breakdown. So thank you all for watching, and I will catch you on the next one. Thank you.